Prairie points are used a lot to create 3D and texture. And we're very used to seeing Jenny twiddle and fiddle and make these pointy things. But how about if we had two colours? What a difference that would make. I've got some lovely examples here from my friend Izzy. She did the welcome design behind me. And as you can see, the prairie points are used on the outside as a feature. They have the double colour and the prairie points point in so that the outside is still very neat. Um, you could put the, the prairie points pointing out to be quite a different feature. Um, but as I say, those, those point in and uh, she's got some lovely double colours in that. The quilt in front of me is um, a version of Turning 20 in which she's also added 3D texture again in the double colours. If you're going to add them into the body of your quilt like this or indeed into uh, any seam, it is the way the seam is pressed that finally defines the way your prairie points lie. You must remember that. It would be impossible for these to come this way because you'd lose all the beauty of them. You need them to lie this way and therefore the seam would be pressed towards me. She's got two them um, placed completely at random in seams throughout this quilt, which uh, when it's quilted up will look quite delightful. We've got another quilt of hers, which is finished. And this time she's put the prairie points in the border as a feature. The quilting has been um, done very cleverly to avoid so that these stay um, flappy and pointy. And again, with the double color. So I'm gonna show you very quickly how to create this double color. There's no kind of magic formula. You just need to really think about the size that you want. 